my area of research has been in biological fluid mechanics with an emphasis on computational modeling. And so I've spent my career interested in understanding how organisms move through fluid. So one of the areas that I'm specifically interested in is in biological reproductive fluid mechanics. And in particular, how mammalian sperm, let's say, move through the female reproductive tract and, and successfully fertilize an egg. Be beyond the physiological implications, uh, there are many, many interesting fluid mechanics questions. Uh, the, the environment that a sperm moves through is not a simple environment. It's moving through uh, female chambers that are themselves undergoing muscular contractions and the sperm are also moving through a complex fluid environment with uh, embedded polymeric structures. The niche that this fills that uh, is in parallel with JFM is that here we're, we're not asking the co-authors to uncover a new fundamental property in fluid mechanics but rather we're asking uh, for, for the applications or understanding of new phenomena to use fundamental uh, properties of, of fluid mechanics. So what I'm hoping is that we are uh, widening the scope of excellent papers that, uh, that Cambridge will capture. For folks who are going to submit to the journal Flow, the kind of, the kind of papers that I would like to see would have a real biological interest, just because that's what I'm, I'm interested in. I, I, the, the more complex situations, the better. There's some really fascinating aspects of fluid mechanics in biology, both at the cellular level and the organismal level. I would like to see work that has this nice combination of theory, experiment, and computation. And that, you know, that, that experiment doesn't need to come from the authors, but the authors should be aware of, of experiments that are relevant. Another uh, issue is that in the, in the journal flow, while we are interested in both natural and engineered systems that include fluid mechanics, another dimension that we're looking for are problems that use principles of fluid mechanics to, to study these systems. For instance, you know, traffic flow or, or, or granular material design. I'm excited to see all these papers coming in.